Our featured writer is Juan Flavier. He was a Filipino physician and a politician. He served as a Secretary of Health under President Fidel V. Ramos from 1992 to 1995 and was later elected to the Senate, serving from 1995 to 2007. In 1992, Philippine President Fidel V. Ramos appointed Flavier Secretary of the Department of Health. During his term, he initiated various health programs such as Oplan Alice Disease, Contra Cholera, Stop TB, Araw ng Sangka Pinoy, Family Planning, and Doctor to the Barrios Program. During his term, Barangay health workers were recognized. He served as Secretary of the Department of Health until 1995. He was regularly rated one of the most popular government officials, and his department one of the most effective. He was perhaps the most popular Secretary of Health. Parable of the Rainbow Colors by Juan Flavier It all started as innocent statements by each of the colors. No attempt was made by anyone to denigrate the others. There was even an element of restraint and humility. But as time went on, the color's declaration became stronger and haughty, with an overtone which tend to put down the other colors. Their claim became very explicit to who was the best color. It reaches the point when the colors were actually quarreling. Said the color red, I am the brightest for red is the most striking. Why? Life sustaining blood is color red. I represent courage and bravery. Even love symbols such as heart and roses are colored red. The color yellow retorted, What can be brighter than my yellow, exemplified by the sun? I am the color of gaiety and of warmth. Without me, only the eye-glaring ones remain. What outlandish claims? Interposed the color orange. Sunrise is orange, not yellow. I am more important because I represent health and strength. Look at the ripened fruits and vegetables are predominantly orange. Well, if you are talking about vegetables and leaves, you are referring to my color, declared the color green. I am the symbol of life. All that thrives in the fields and the forests is the greenery I provide. I am the most important color. The color blue could not help it anymore, so it shouted. What can be more expansive than the skies and the seas? Do you forget that the farthest skies and the deepest seas are blue? I represent patriotism. I stand for the depth of feelings and extensive space. The color indigo came out with a statement. You talk about wide areas? I hope you realize that the largest area in the world is silence and I represent that dimension in my color. It means thoughtfulness. It is prayer expressed in the deepest of feelings. Aha! You forget the pomp of royalty and power is violet, shouted the color. I am wisdom and authority. What can be more overwhelming? Suddenly, the rain interrupted the contentious exchange of arguments. You are probably all wrong and all right. Yes, you all have your unique features, but all of you have special role. And more importantly, you need each other to give the mixed colors of beauty. From now on, you will not be seen separately. When it rains, 
a strip of colors will appear in the sky. You will appear together. You will be called a rainbow. You will then represent cooperation and hope. With that, the rain disappeared. The End Read and answer the questions carefully to understand deeper the message of the parable colors. Use a separate sheet of paper for an answer sheet. Number one, if you were one of the colors, what would it be and why? Number two, what is the change that happened in each of the color? Why? Number three, how is the change relevant to the existence of each of the color? Number four, what do you feel when you see a rainbow? And number five, why does a rainbow represent hope?